I felt really excited when I first arrived in Sydney. About the new life, the new journey ahead, the new opportunities. For me, it was the beginning of a new journey. But then I was a bit nervous as well, thinking of you know how I have to deal with everything on my own without my parents. And then I quickly got lost in the city. It's pretty、um, busy. It's 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 sometimes crowded. But nonetheless, it's a place with good balance of、um, fun, the weather, the view, and the lifestyle. So it's being also to all sorts of like life that is beyond vibrant. Sydney provides me a chance to stay close、uh, to nature. I had my first ride on the double deck train. So I did my first road trip with my partner. The sky, the ocean, like going to the beach or the mountains on weekends, like surfing, diving, and going to the galleries. Aside from the beautiful weather, it just borrows things from a lot of different countries and put it in this city. When you come across the food from. Various parts of the world, and the, and the niche little shops that they have, I hadn't seen that before. This is a place where I I'm first exposed to a more independent life. I had my first legal drink. I have to finally do the housework myself. Studying here to learn something new and to live the Harry Potter experience. It felt new and old at the same time. Just by walking on the street, I can smell a lot of coffee. In the air, and I knew this is it. That place where I start to pursue my dreams became more outgoing. You know, it's comfortable to talk to people even we don't know each other. For me, Sydney is like an old friend, young boy, an investment banker, and it is someone who will bring us all together.